How you doing? I'm doing, you got, I'm doing where, great. What the hell are you got in your hand? What is that? Some cool stuff. Stay tuned, guys. What do you do when the power goes out? What's the first thing you think about when you lose power? Like most people, first thing you think about is your family. Are they safe? Everybody accounted for it? Everybody good? Second thing, how do you get your power back on? That's the question. What do you do? How do you know when the power's, power company's coming back out? How long it's going to be till you get power restored? Usually in this situation, what you would do is you'd fire up your backup generator if you had one. That, those are pretty expensive, so you usually have to have a licensed electrician come out, wire that into your sub-panel, and make a, you know, a whole lot of stuff that most homeowners can't do. So you got to start thinking about what's the first thing you need to get plugged into power so that you don't, you know, so you can get back to life. So what do we got going on today, Ange? What is this? Some really cool off-grid stuff. This stuff here, shipped to us by from Blue Eddy. This is their power bank, the EB3A. And the 68 watt solar panel that goes along with it. We're gonna do a little unboxing for you guys. Show you this, how this works. We're gonna set it up to the solar panel. Show the charging aspect of that. And we'll get some other uses out of this. Show you, show you what we can run off this thing. They're pulling them out. This box is so tiny. Surprisingly, it's pretty lightweight. What do you think it weighs? I'm not picking it up. I don't know. 12, 15? <laughs> maybe. Maybe 10, 15 pounds. It's not very heavy. I, I, I'm sure there's probably a weight chart on here. We'll, we'll add that in if we find it. <laughs> we get the instructions. Yep. Got Just throw them away. <laughs> Seriously, so we've got the box. We've got some cables that come in it. This would be for the charging ports, it looks like. So you can charge it with 110, which we cannot because we're on solar ourselves. We could, but it'd be kind of this. Would, be, would that be a continuous loop? I don't know. Would, be, would that be free power? If I'm charging off of a battery, charging a battery? Anyway, they gave us, they went in and sent us these cords that we'll plug in to this beautiful set. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the Blue Eddy 68 watt solar panel. It looks like it's carbon fiber. So it's got this little kickstand that comes out. So you set it up. And it just sets at an angle. Oh, that is nice. It's not glass like our solar panel. No, this is all carbon fiber. There's something to that effect. That's what the material looks like. Um, Pretty cool. It won't crack and break on you. Nope. It's got a little zipper pocket here. And in this zipper pocket, see has the charging cables. Oh, oh. And another instruction manual. Fancy. Throw that away too. So we've got these charging cables here. And these are just the regular solar panel. If you look at them, these are the exact same style that our panels have for our house. The exact same style. Don't do that. But we should be able to take these, plug it right into there. <laughs> okay, we we'll go ahead and power this thing on. Let's it down. And look at the button to the left there. It looks like that's the power button. All right. Ooh, what's this one do? That's a flashlight. And then a strobe light, party Ooh. time. Nice. So we are at 69% right now. I don't know if they can see that through that screen or not. Yep, nice reflection in the mirror there. 69% charged out of the box. We're going to go ahead and hook those solar panels up and we'll see what they come up to. A bunch of different ports, some USB, USB C, regular 110 ports. You have this plug here. This is one way you can charge it. And then our solar charger is going to go in here. You got a cigarette lighter adapter. Is that what it even called a cigarette lighter adapter anymore? 
Okay, so I am not good with technical stuff at all. I've not read the instructions. We're going to try to plug and play it. Let's we'll see what I can do. Hopefully she doesn't blow it up. Okay. Okay, I should probably read the instructions. Don't just plug and play. <laughs> no. Just, you don't, don't try this at home. Read the instructions. So what you're going to do, you're going to take this, uncoil them a little bit so we got all that out of there. So red and black match up, right? So match your red to your red and your black to your black. Plus the pins only go one way. Oh yeah, they just snap right together. <laughs> Sorry. Such a jerk. See, are we plugged in? Okay, take your panel. And a little bit of a heart attack. <laughs> take my panel and stick it in the sun. Nice little ray of sun right here. So right now, we are 69%. The input says zero. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in our input. Boom. Pulling in 17 watts, 30 watts. Whoa. Whoa. Pull it, pull it like this. Alright, check this out. Wow, we're bringing in. It's at 59 watts right now. Oh, there we go. 57. 69% charged. We got nothing coming out. When you plug in, this this little one here will start showing numbers too. Um, looking pretty good. It's charging right up. Got the little solar panel hooked up. She's got to hold it like Vanna White. So we'll let this thing charge up for a bit, and we're going to try something with it. What are we going to make with it? How, how are we going to use this thing? Oh my gosh, okay, so I love living off, love living off grid. I wouldn't change it for anything, but there are certain conveniences. Our solar setup isn't great. We're getting there, but it's still not good. There's so many things that I'd like, my crock pot. I can't use a crock pot anymore. It pulls too much off our battery bank. So we are going to see if I can use a crock pot. My espresso machine. I haven't got to use that for years. Um, Have you seen the price of espressos now? Oh my oh. gosh, yes, they're, they're, they're a lot. <laughs> I really miss my coffee. This, hopefully, will help us be able to have coffee off-grid. We will see. Not just coffee, but espresso. So right now, I've got this thing running on my refrigerator only. It's just powering the refrigerator. It's been running for close to two hours now. And we're only at 80%. It's pretty good. I'm pretty stoked with this thing. Uh, we had a little overload at first, and I'm not sure what that was. I wanted to make sure that the when we put the plugged it in, that the compressor would kick on and see if that would overload this thing, because it's 600 watts. It's not huge. But it's good for an emergency situation for sure. Oh, overload. Once the compressor kicked on? Apparently, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's not good. That's what it looks like when you don't have enough power. Well, it's running. I don't know why it overloaded the first time. Not all refrigerators are created equal. This is a small refrigerator. But it's running it. Compressor's running right now. Everything's on and chilling up. We're gonna let this run for the day, see how long it'll last keep you updated so the solar panel makes it to where you don't have to worry about you know how you're going to power this thing back up when it runs low 
run an extension cord out off of it into the house and you can or into wherever you need to run it and you could power this thing the entire time you know except for at night <laughs> but this is this is holding power pretty good for what we're running it on this is definitely something for emergency backup something to take say camping i know this could run my cpap i ran it last night just to see how i do and video that because I mean, who wants to see me wearing my cpap <laughs> but it did work and i when we started i was at 100 percent when i got up in the morning i think we were down to 63 percent not bad not bad at all you know the cpap does draw a lot of power i'm breathing it so so we tried using it on a crock pot and the crock, crock pot we had is a 280 watt crock pot and it did pretty good at first um we were only at 80 percent charge when we started using it on it and we could put it on high put a pot roast in there and, and by the way, we i mean my wife angela she's the one who did all that work but uh it started running and it was doing good in about an hour in man it drained it fast so unfortunately the crock pot idea didn't work out for us we were hoping that would be a, a good solution so we tried doing it to <laughs> tried using our espresso maker on it no overloaded it immediately this is where you need to look at the bottom of your appliances that you want to run on it and see how many watts they are and how many amps they pull because amp hours equate to watt hours uh, there's a whole formula for it i'm not going to get into that for you point is monitor what, or figure out what it is you're you're wanting to run see if it'll work for you they have many options available this one here the the eb3a it's a pretty good one and it's a small introductory one there are bigger home ones too that are phenomenal we'll have a link down below in our in the description of the video here to go and get yourself your, your own so the eb3a the battery capacity on this thing is 268.8 watt hours or that equates to 12 amp hours so it's a 600 watt with a surge of 1200 watts unfortunately our espresso maker was 1500 watts that was just way too much for this thing the next step up i think could do an espresso maker but 12 amp hours that's pretty good 12 hours if it's pulling an amp per hour whatever your device is your appliance or whatnot that's how you do your math figure that figure that part out overall first impressions on this thing pretty darn good 12 amp hours that's a pretty good length of time for one of these small little battery backups um it's just a little power station it's got a little it's really cool it's got, i didn't even notice it till i was reading the instructions don't throw your instructions away like i did read them so this has a magnetic charger so you just or wireless charger whatever you stick your phone on and it just charges it right on top it's pretty cool i didn't didn't even realize that so another cool feature of this thing chickens everywhere anyway follow the link down below in, in the description get yourself one of these maybe get yourself a solar panel maybe get yourself a bigger one it's up to you the sky's the limit get out there start living your dreams Till next time guys have a good one